You're very welcome to the snow-capped hills of Prati de Tivo, which will play host to the finale of stage four of Terreno Adriatico Aeolo, the shortest road stage of the week. Here's the route that we've got today, winding circuitous uh, route south and east towards the Apennines. And we've got a couple of lumps and bumps along the way. Had three tough climbs, two of them are categorized, and it all concludes with the final climb uh, to Prado de Termi. From kilometer zero, the riders making their way out from the sunshine of uh, Termi. As we review the, uh, the scene of the riders who have ventured forth from the uh, breakaway group. Five riders in total. When's the next attack coming as we wait for it? It's going to come from Geraint Thomas. They've come to play today. No response from Tadej Pogacar, somewhat surprisingly, and he's probably thinking, well, it's, I'm going to leave it up to someone else. Pogacar attacks. Who can respond? Pogacar goes, and, uh, well, Wout van Aert knows he's got to do this again, and he's not going to be able to just jump out of the saddle. Joao Almeida is in pursuit of, is it Land or is it Bilbao? Well, it's certainly Pogacar who has the advantage over the rest, and he wants to get back up to Geraint Thomas. Pogacar settles into the pain, picks up Geraint Thomas. Thomas sits in the wake of the Tour de France champion. Mads Wertz is not going to win the stage today. He's over five kilometers to go. Last man from the breakaway group. Brave resistance from the Dane. Now and he's gone again, Tadej Pogacar. Just the sheer force of his effort, it means that he's racing clear. And you know what? This is looking like increasing dominance. Wout van Aert needs something extraordinary. Simon Yates goes for glory. And Yates, who was distanced in the last couple of days, tried his luck with a brave late attack on stage two. And Yates still within touching distance. And Almeida and uh, Pogaccio doesn't want to let him back in, does he? He's in a world of hurt. Over three and three quarter hours of tough racing in the three days that have preceded it. And it's all action behind with Joao Almeida going for glory. And uh, Higuita tries to go with the Portuguese rider. Meanwhile, we focus on the finish line inside the finishing barriers and inside 250 meters to go. The final drove the dice from Simon Yates, but I think he's not quite going to be able to get there because Tadej Pogacar can see the finish line in sight and he knows that he needs to ride it all the way to the line and take every potential second that he can possibly gain on the group behind. We see them through the trees and through the hairpins to come. 100 meters remaining for 22-year-old Slovenian Tadej Pogacar to take stage success on stage four of Terreno Adriatico. It's going to go the way of the Slovenian. It's going to go the way of the man who was the pre-event favorite. And now he is the winner of stage four. Pogacar gets the victory and the clock will start to run. Great scrap out on the roads to Prati de Divo. But the victory going to Tadej Pogacar. Uh, yeah, today uh, I had battle with myself the last, uh, last few case. Uh, yeah, Simon was coming close in the end, uh, but I uh, yeah, struggled to, to come to the finish. Uh, I did everything again, and uh, yeah, it was uh, super hard. When I went uh, on the attack, uh, I tried to get uh, rid of everyone, uh, tried to be alone uh, and go my own tempo. And uh, yeah, when uh, I saw the gap is uh, rising, uh, it gave me a little bit more motivation for sure. But it was a <laughs> quite a long way to go. Uh, it was super hard. There you have it. Stage results. Tadej Pogacar getting the win by six seconds from Simon Yates. Sergio Aguida getting up by the narrowest of margins over Mikel Landa. Quintana Almeida, Fabro Carr, Van Aert and Fulsang rounding out the top ten. Here's the overall standings. Yes, uh, Sergio Aguida level with Wout Van Aert on 35 seconds removed from Pogacar. Mikel Landa 38 seconds back. Quintana 41. For seven covered by a minute.